Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen how to run Selenium sort in Jenkins using Freestyle Job. Today, in this video, we are going to see how to run the same Selenium sort using Pipeline Job. The difference between Freestyle Job and Pipeline Job is all the steps or stages that you need you configured in Freestyle Job. In the uh, in the Pipeline Job, you are going to write it as a code. So the advantage is you can check in as a code. So that means the configuration as code. That is the advantage of using pipeline job. So to start with, if you see in this, we have configured three stages or three steps majorly. One is the code checkout from Git. Second one is running clean and test the goal where the test cases is going to execute. And the third step is publishing the reports. The same three steps I'm going to configure in Freestyle Job. So for the first one, you have to create a new item. Then you have to uh, do anything, pipeline one, and choose pipeline, and then click on OK. So previously, we have chosen freestyle, freestyle, but we have chosen pipeline now. And now the description whatever it is and then build triggers i'm not worrying about it right now and then here if you see in this pipeline section you have to write the scripts for that you need to have to write this pipeline code here uh, which i'm going to write it here that script will start with pipeline so open braces and close closed braces can do like this then you have to provide a agent that means where your cases need to be executed or where this pipeline need to be executed that is like a master and slave concept in Jenkins like uh, we did not have that right so we are going to run it on the same machine where we have started Jenkins so that I call it as a master so we need to provide that information agent open braces and close braces and inside that you need to provide node so these are the predefined keywords available in the DSL of this label master okay so that means whatever the steps that I am going to configure will be executing into on master that means that the same machine then we can provide few options these are optional or these options does is uh, configurations like for example time steps that means whenever you run your cases it provides the uh, date and time when it has been executed in the console okay. that is optional we just this is state, you know, standard so the next one where we are starting our steps so for this we need to give it as a stages like uh, uh, you can divide your uh, pipeline into multiple stages also we are considering only one stage here uh, that should you we should put it inside the stages so then I have to create a stage what is the name of the stage I'll put checkout uh, test and publish so this is my stage name then all the steps that I'm going to do it in this stage will be provided inside the package. Now, the first step is code checkout, right? Or cloning the code. So git, and you need to provide the URL here. So git is the predefined keyword. So where it is available, my code is available here. So I'm just going to put it here. That is the first step. The second step is I want to run the cases. So in order to run the cases, what the command I used in the console is uh, mvn clean test, right? So this is the command I want to run from the uh, pipeline job. So for that script, so it's a Windows machine, right? But that's why we use bat here. If it is Linux machine, you are going to use sh shell so clean test 
So these are escape characters. That means it starts from here and ends from there. Okay, and that ends of this script. And what is the third step is publishing. So in order to write this, this is the way that to use a predefined classes or predefined functionality of a plugin. So in the step, you need to provide which class that you are going to use for this. This is publisher. This is the feature of uh, test ng. That means the publisher class is available in the test ng. And the next one is which file you want to publish. So report file file name pattern. So the same. These are the, these things we should know. Uh, previously, this is available from the plugin uh, sites. Okay, so TestNG is plugin. If you go to the Jenkins plug TestNG plugin site, you will get this code. Results dot XML. So what is this? This is the same thing that we have given here. See, report pattern. This report pattern we are giving it as a uh, code. Okay, so that's what I have provided here. So with this, these three steps has been done. So I am going to copy paste this code here into our pipeline script area. And if it is having any compilation errors, it shows right here. Right now we don't have anything. So we just have this, click on save. And then, well now. So now it should show us the report, but something went wrong. Now we'll see what it is this. Uh, there is unknown stage section. Uh, steps in must be steps block. Haven't I put the steps there? I'll just open this. Okay. Inside the stage, I will just need to add one more thing, which is called as steps. Okay. Uh, I'll put that. So now I'm just copy this. So my point, like what I've done is inside stages, you should have stage. Inside stages, you should have steps. Inside steps, you should have a step. This is one step and this is another step. Okay, so configure. And replace your code and save. And click on bell now. We should see the text start executing. Now it's starting the pipeline. Okay, so Jenkins in pipeline one folder. See, due to these timestamps, you are able to see this uh, time here. So with, if you don't have this timestamp, you cannot see this. And then git cloning is happening. Okay, so first step. And then script is executing, event clean test, MVN clean test. And then once it is done, it is going to publish. So whatever the three steps that we have uh, created here, the same we have put it into pipeline. So the pipeline, if pipeline and agent is where you want to run. And options is like to see the time of execution. And stages is the configure multiple stages. I'm configured one stage here. Inside that, we need to create steps. Inside steps, you need to provide the steps. So this is executing. And now it's been handling and it will publish. See, it has been published. And if you go and see, the display also looks different here. So see, you can see if you have multiple stages here, you can have multiple boxes. Okay, so even though you can put checkout in one stage, test in one stage and publish in another stage, but as of now, it is in the single stage. So publishing is also true. And you can see the report here. Okay, thanks for watching.